Welcome back. Once PL gets two, three items, he can do that. But I think it would be putting too much of a burden on the Ember Spirit. And they're actually going to look to try and smoke up aggressively and play through that Underlord. They did it under reward though, so Marvel should know that this has happened. Rams jumps on the back, Stampede. Action might get Hishki back to safety, cold feet, no proc, but he's still got some remnants to pick up the first blood. That, that's all it is about, like, Hishki's gonna go down again, but he's not really all that concerned about dying down here. It's a good move, though, from FPZ to come down up to the top lane immediately to get a kill here onto Marvel. This is a great move. Brings both of them. Graham's getting involved. A little bit of experience is actually FBZ that gets that kill and then back to mid. Again, it's just the offlaners. Very much limit where the rest of your cores are able to farm. And Shadow Fiend, he doesn't need quite as many. He still needed a way to be able to get that farm off. And Assassin, will he get away? No, nice that's Oh, Hishki. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hishki, Hishki. They might still get the kill on Rams. Can he get the remnant away? He can. Are the remnants going to be up pretty shortly here? They're going to go for this play with a spike carapace, hit Marvel, get the guaranteed stun off. And very easy to quickly pick him up. This is it. Like, as soon as it's hit level 6, oh, he's going to go for the Requiem. Lot of damage. Sanctity. I am very surprised. Well, can you pick him, Naga? Bye he bye, did. Naga. Poor Underlord. He just, he just wanted a bit of a different build. Nice play from Hyde. Oh, smoke pops. Uh, the life of a support against the Phantom Lancer. It's never fun to play into. Just ripped apart. P.O. is going to move on forward for more. They even got the chain sanctity. He's going to be pretty careful here. Protected thanks to the Shadow Blade. Thinking about turning, but Ram's still cutting over on the back line here, Requiem. Hasn't really charged it up properly just yet. Ram's is actually trying to look to jump on top of Marvel, but Marvel's still tanking. Shadow Blade's done, though. Along with the Vanguard, but now Shadow Fiend, he can't actually go back in. He'll just clean off Kez cute on the back line. But it does leave Marvel solo, so they can dive deep underneath the tier 2 tower. Hishki has respawned. They're also going to try and bring the Nargis Iron as well. Charges up the Wreck Wimp, but is there any follow-up damage at the moment? Double raise just gets away thanks to the burst heal from FBZ's mechanism. And now they're going to try and look to turn back on Sanctity. The Dream is so showing up to... This fight drastically. Double the double stun, fine. Fighting out to both, but there's just no damage. Like, we see, like, Naga TP in, and now Naga's running away. Like, what do you do? Even though Naga hasn't been getting involved, been farming incredibly well across the map. 232 last hits. They're on the low ground, though. Not a great spot to be in the choke point. Straight on top of the Shadow Fiend. They're going to be able to bring down Sanctity, the Stampede, unable to, to disengage fast enough. They'll try and get a rebuttal on high, but the Nyx Assassin doesn't care. And in fact, Nyx Assassin still isn't even dead just yet. Finally, the song's going to come through for one, two, three. But this is just sounding the sirens here for the retreat for Lil Gun. Yeah, and, and look at the impact of losing the outpost as well as the tier one and two top. The Shadow Fiend, he walks in to try and take something to get some of these souls back, but he just can't. His force to come into this fight doesn't get clipped by the Ice Blast, but I think it's still going to be too much. They find the Centaur start, the Ancient Apparition as well. They're going to try and burn down Ace's mana. And in fact, they just burn his life down after the Burrow time. Sanctity will now charge up the Requiem, finds a connection on two, but he still needs to be really careful afterwards. So, looks like they're pinging out as well. Scan, beautiful scan. And now Epized's positioning. They get rid of the D-Ward. Well aware of how they're postured at the moment. Song's going to come through. Are they all grouped up? Sanctity. Split up, though. Who are they going to try and bring down? They don't know. He has it decided. No, the song completely wastes. He's going to try and charge up. It's not going to matter. Sanctity still gets the ultimate off. It's a lot of damage on top of the Nyx Assassin, but it doesn't matter. Dream is still his fighting condition, but the BKB popped as well. They're going to try and look to turn Sanctity. They've already burnt down the Naga Siren. Sanctity as well with the BKB. Going to try and retreat up on the higher ground. But they're just losing too many numbers. Boom. Beautiful read of that smoke gank, scanning the side of Blue Gun, wrapping around there. They just are unable to get them grouped up on the song. You know, they went the super long way around. You knew that people were attacking the uh, the tier three tower. I feel like Marvel's getting baited in here what? into another one. Just leaps forward like a bunny rabbit, and it's going to cost him. <laughs> no. They... And that's it. That's a bit of a tilting death there with the GG being called. I was going over this here in my head. I'm like, can they, can they anti-mage? Can they? Here he gets the task. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
I think he knows he's up there. He saw he went for that stun. Now he's gonna- No, run. no! Uh, well, I really did think he knew, knew they were up there. Even Marvel as well, he's leveled up the shell already. Uh, the trance, I should say, but... I'm very worried about Ace, and you know, we're already seeing you know, Shard, Tag Team. At least Stormhammer's gonna give him a oh, great spout from the Furion. Just on point use of the abilities there coming up from Boomin. It's cool though. Does. Right, you got Hyde here. He's gone for a bit of a backstep onto Sanctity. Not quite yet level six. So this could result in his death. Well, almost definitely we would have PZ coming through. Like just getting kill off the kill off the kill on creeps. It does very feel. Uh, I reckon it's a little bit therapeutic in a way. Well, I think the Dreamer Cell, he's already used the counter spell. Got some stick charges. Dreamer Cell, very deep dive here. Shards block isn't enough. He can no, cut through no. the tree now. Dreamer Cell! Oh! It's a great looking game here for the AM. Great looking game for Boom as well as Hive. Find one, two, three. Tries to dodge the ice blast as well. Unfortunately, won't be able to, but it's not going to matter. But so we'll toss him up in the air. One, two, three will fall simultaneously. EBZ is going to be able to deal with the support on the back line. Dakota should be able to pop the smoke here. He does, and they did it, I believe, just underneath that uh, new vision that they have Surely there. He's not he going to do what Makoto here. Makoto? Okay. Oh, he's got FBZ thinking about coming forward with the TP, Makoto. Oh, she will get no help. So that was 392 gold going over towards the Nyx Assassin. They're going to try and look to hunt for more as well. Thank you, Zember. He's diving deep here. Can they get rid of the flame rod? They do have the ultimate still on cooldown for the lion, but it's not gonna matter. Ember gonna get brought down from his aggressive maneuver and the great use of the body blocks from the trance from FBZ as well. You just see he's so comfortable on a multitude of heroes, it feels like for FBZ. I know exactly what they were requiring. And, and now this game on the Fury on as well. He's doing everything he needs, the rotations have been on point. See the itemization is now gonna be a big, big issue for someone like the Ember. Speaking about the Ember, they try and jump on Sanctity, but with the Surge along with the Iron Shell, Sanctity's able to turn. He's going to be careful though, or Katal, along with the counter oh, shift from Makoto, but a quick spike Carapace dodges a lot of the damage at the moment. They're looking to turn with the numbers advantage as well. One, two, three, showing up. God's Strength pop. They're still looking to try and push on four for more. This is the power of the Sven versus the anti mage. He's going to be able to show up to a lot more early fights than what the AM can do just with a naked Battle Fury. Doesn't want to pop God Strength for it. What's he got? Nine second BKB charge. He's going to use it now. Makoto throws in the tree just for a little bit of vision. And Brady. Oh, here. Makoto. What a combo. Still going to cost him what his combo life. Die, Hide as well. He's going to be careful how deep they're going. FBZ needs help. The finger of death. Earthspark. FBZ gets a triple kill. And now with the axe as well. Dreamer Cell's going to be able to show up. One more swing of the axes. As Dreamer Cell cleans up, he's going to be able to claim the ages. And it might just indeed be a team whack as the ancient apparition. It's an ultra FBZ. Now, though, he's at least got that. He is about 600, 700 gold away from. Uh, well, Ice Moss, Lady Hishki. One, two, Dreamer Soul. Okay. Makoto as well is going to fall. BKP pop. Where's the lockdown afterwards? FBZ is going to try and deal with Ace in the back line. The lockdown's not there. They only really got one round. And once the cooldowns come back up, it's enough for the anti mage to be able to blink away after the Aegis gets claimed. They and still they do scout FBZ. out FBZ. He's got a BKB. Be. Should be able to just use that TP out. He's actually going to try and look to turn to do some damage. So another Sven. BKB is on cooldown for himself as well. God's Strand still slowly wearing off as well. Oh, but a oh, it's a big old crit. Imclaw paying off there. Sanctity completely out of mana. Dream Cell pushes it back. Now with a mana void! Hey. Dream Cell! The tip the instantly from Hyde will jump on forward. Gets himself a triple. Dearly. Oh no. Yeah, the downsides are going that uh, Ag Scepter on the Dark Seer against an anti mage. You know, it's typically very Dark Seer favored, but you're just giving him a whole lot mana to burn and then a whole lot mana to void. Gets him the triple kill. Very nicely done there. Just, I'm seeing too often it feels like these. Makoto, is he gonna go for it? He is. Oh my god, Makoto, no. what? No, no, he needs help. He's like, team, okay, I made a mistake. I didn't help, guys, 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 get here. Verify, Kezcute, choke point, Ripple what a the stun. Ravage. He didn't die as well. Okay, they got him. 
Sang Kitty just catches him. And now they'll get Ken's cute Q. Okay, so Makoto, maybe not worth it. Or Hishi. Do have FBZ coming over. What's up with the back of the team? One, two, three, jump on four. Nice BKB, FBZ. but FBZ is getting chunked down. Doesn't have a whole lot to protect himself at the moment. Roche is going to be up in 50, unfortunately. Oh, he switched it up as well. He was going for the second Daedalus. He was going for the MKB. No, no. Rapier time says one, two, three. Olympia. Sanctity. Sanctity. Oh, he needs help. One, two, three. Blink on forward. In. They got the first stun on top of Dreamer, so he's getting crit down as well. He's got to be careful. Blink away, protected with the BKB, but they're looking to hunt. Slight, is it going to be able to bring him in the threshold? Another remnant on forward as well. Dreamer still needs help. One more slide. It's not going to be there now. They caught out Sanctity. Needs help too. He's gone too deep here with the attempt to oh, bring down Dreamer Cell. Now, one, two, one, three, three. Oh, beautiful sprout. Two will end up getting punished, making a third as well. Boom. They said, thank you very much. As you go greedy, we punish. Ember's up in 15. Didn't have to buy back. Marvel, though. You're going to have to hope Marvel's got to buy back. Pipe. Greaves, not enough. And he's got a buyback. Rejoins instantly. Dream himself with blink on the back line as well. But a buyback's gonna come through. One, two, three. Now with the lockdown. Dream himself turns. BK pip hop. Abyssal blade as well. Man avoid marble falling low. Can he get the surge back to safety? He can. Meanwhile, back on the back. Sanctity. He doesn't have the backup of the team. Remnants on four. BKB's about to expire. He's gonna to continue to jump on as well. We'll bring down Kez Q. But that is a lot of buybacks forced out here. Two threes hunting. Blink's gonna be back up. Just See you later, sure. melee racks. Oh no. Classic rat. Alright, Roche is up. up. And it has Ags. That is big for Little Gun. If they're able to get good old Superman Sven going, it's gonna be a big bonus for them. Not if they get picked off this well, early. Though. Buybacks on cooldown. Makoto's gonna crit down from 1, 2, 3, but the Blink on forward high. It's gonna be able to protect. The tiny at the moment. Bye. And he's here, probably, and deep on the back line. Once again, Sven getting controlled. God's trying to grab it. You know, the Sven is just gone. 120 seconds on the deck. The rest of the team are getting melted as well. Boom, swing on over. And with that, they got no cause. They got no hope. And they've got to call it quits. As Boom Esports will take another 2 0 victory here. Very convincing. And uh, even just then, FBZ, he was like a machine.